talk about. I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about this book. I'm interested to show it to you and see what you think about it. Now, you can let me know if the music's too loud. It's a real hangout. Um, Dean says, nah, they won't let me. I call myself a man with no country. <laughs> Pandy the Panda. Okay, that's the first. Uh, is he is he pandering? Is that why his name is Pandy? He's the pandering Pandy Panda? Or is that too many? That's too much alliteration uh, for any time of day. Uh, so we're going to look at the first thing I want to show you while folks are showing up, while things are popping off. I want to share, I, I like to do this from time to time, uh, and full disclosure, this is a book that was sent to me uh, by Crossway. I get to do book reviews, but I get to choose what book I get to do, and they have no control over what I said. Oh, no. <laughs> Pagani the Panda. Oh, man. I don't want to get a copyright strike. Is, is even us saying his name uh, going to bring about a copyright strike on my channel? Uh, maybe, if he's watching. Uh Hey, Pagani, if you're here, throw a question in the chat. We'd love to. Uh, but here's a book that I teased a while ago on my Instagram. It's it's a, a thick book, but it's not a commentary, but it's kind of. We're going to talk about it. It's talking about the Psalms, and I think it's really interesting. I have some passages I want to read, uh, read from that to give you an idea. If the Psalms is something you're looking to study, we're going we're gonna to look at that. So, but what is this book? This book is how to read and understand the Psalms. I don't know if, if you're like me, but sometimes I've felt when I open the Psalms and I start reading the Psalms, there's passages kind of like what we saw from Mark Driscoll, right? He's giving this man's man speech and this, you, you need to go slaughter the denominational leaders that are uh, against God and, and this, that, and the other. And we can read that emotion in the Psalms and not necessarily have a, an understanding of how do we apply that to our lives? How, how are some of these Psalms things that we can read and understand? Is it just for us to react to and, and see the emotion there? Or, or what's going on with that? And so I want to read, what is this book? In the author's own words, from chapter one, just the, the top part of this paragraph, it says this. The attempt here is not a commentary, although there is quite a bit of that. The attempt is not to produce a biblical theology of the Psalter, although there is much of that also. The attempt here is something preliminary to all that. We want to enter the pre-understandings, the mind of the psalmist, as it were, and gain the proper lenses for reading the Psalms so that we can interpret more faithfully, understand more precisely, develop our theology more firmly, and expound more fully. And that's the book. The chapters break down like this. I think this will help you understand what this book is because it's going to go through the Psalms. That's why there's so much here. You're going to be able to look up the different Psalms and, and see a lot of what's written here, a lot of the ones that are that are expounded upon. But chapter one is an introduction. Chapter two sketches out the leading factors necessary for responsible interpretation of the Psalter. So there's hermeneutics that we have to study and understand as we're coming to the text that's really helpful to break down that again this is a different genre than if you're reading the gospels than if you're reading narrative in the old testament or if you're reading apocalyptic literature or prophecy or even wisdom literature the psalms really are its own category in many ways it's poetry it's sometimes music it's it's words written it's very deep emotion and you can't just read and apply it always the way that you would some other genres. Chapter three examines the historical setting of the Psalms. Chapter four demonstrates the royal orientation of the Psalter. Five examines the liturgical setting. Six examines various poetic devices. Seven through 11 highlight form criticism uh, and examine various genres of the Psalms because there's subgenres in the Psalms itself. Uh, 12 surveys how the Psalms point us to Christ. That might be the place you even want to start if you want to go there. I know Josh Bolton would want to go there. Uh, chapter 13 examines didactic psalms, means psalms that teach. Uh, chapter 14 examines how a text establishes its meaning through various rhetorical devices. And 15 examines how the book of psalms was put together and considers the message of its ordering and final arrangement. 
So there's a lot here to look at. And if you're looking to learn about the Psalms or how to study the Psalms, and I was considering maybe going through Psalm 1 if we want to do that, because I think that's the, the example that's given in chapter 1 to give you a little bit of an idea of how the book approaches it. It's so well written. It's really helped me struggle through some of the things that I read in the Psalms that I that I don't necessarily know how best to apply to my life, especially when I was talking about enemies and all these different types of things because when I look at my life I don't I don't feel that I have the same application as the the Israelites seeing these enemies come upon them is it really a one for one comparison to the the enemy of the devil um, enticing me and tempting me is that all it is or is there more what did the psalmist mean and intend and how do we read all that so what are my final thoughts on this book? Well, I think it's a fantastic resource if you're trying to study the Psalms. If you want to see how it approaches that and what it does, you can follow the link down below to Crossway's website and download the first chapter for yourself where they're going to outline Psalm 1 and give you an idea of how we break down that Psalm from David, how it fits into the overall kind of genre of the Psalms, the different genres that appear, and how that helps your understanding and application of Psalm 1 in your own personal reading. So I'd encourage that you check out that link down below. I hope and pray this has encouraged you to open up the scriptures and study them for yourselves. If you want to check out some more of my reviews, you can click right here on this playlist. I'll see you on the next one. Remember, faithfulness is pursued together. Peace.